rent, Congressman Denny Heck. We need to provide more support for affordable housing for all our neighbors. Our Unlock the Door Coalition wants the state legislature to act to make affordable housing for families across all income levels. Unlock the Door Coalition's plan. Build more housing for all types of single family homes, condos and apartments, benefiting all of us. Paid for by Washington Realtors. Take a cozy Clipper Vacations getaway to Victoria. Voted the most romantic city in Canada. Clipper round trip and overnight hotel stay from only $128 at clippervacations.com. You are in control of the show. Choose your news on the Candy Mike and Todd Show. Mike and Todd Show. Does Todd have a story for today? Wait a minute. Harps, is that a, are they a Kardashian? The pers- no, the person you just said, is that a, a Kardashian? Is that how that goes? Doesn't even make any sense. All right, time for Choose Your News. It but is did it the, ever. Nope. <laughs> game where the stories are totally fascinating. Points only matter to us. You get to be in total control of the show. We're going to give you a headline, a little bit of something about the story. You text your vote, Candy Mike or Todd, or something about the story to 98973. Then be listening at 406 because you're smart. You know, Todd is not here. And then you're going to see if your pick made it out on top. Did everybody agree with your story? So, Mike. Turn to you. What is your pitch for Choose Your News? The for headline today? is Is Big Tech Becoming Big Brother? It sounds like a story right out of Black Mirror, if you're familiar with that uh, Twilight Zone esque show on Netflix. Your social rating can affect things in China, can affect things like your ability to travel abroad and what sort of job you can get. Is that sort of thing coming to the United States or is it already here? My story for today, California state officials are trying to be more inclusive this time around for this year when new governor is going to be taking office. And so the Senate committee has now banned saying he and she. It's going to be very interesting. And I have some examples for you of how it's already failing, but they're trying. So- Here's the crazy thing I can tell you since I'm not really there. There is no Candy Harper. It's an algorithm. <laughs> You know, I really enjoy Todd's participation for today's show. This is the best he's ever sounded. This really is. Go it's ahead my and, favorite version of Todd. And text your vote, 98973, to the Online Trading Academy text line. Which story do you want to hear? Candy, Mike, Todd, either way. We are going to find out at 406. Oh, we do have a minute here. I have to tell you about Tyler Heap. He's Iowa's biggest lotto winner. He recently won a dollar on one of those scratch-off lottery tickets. But instead of redeeming it at a convenience store like the rest of us would pull into 7-Eleven or whatever... He took his big winnings to the Iowa State Lottery headquarters. Why? He tells Who TV that he really wanted those giant, comically large checks. And they decided to treat me like just a million dollar winner. You know, the guy came down the stairs, took me to the back room where the camera was with the Iowa Lottery logo in the background. And sure enough, they wrote me the one dollar check and had me hold it up for the camera and took a picture. And Tyler's super happy about it, right? He said it was just a joke, but Iowa lotto officials were all good sports. By the way, Tyler used his winnings to pay for a half gallon of gas, in case if you're wondering. It's only $2 there. Yeah. But now, so that, that was last week. Now here's the problem. The Iowa State lotto officials had to release a public plea today saying for other winners to stop coming into our office for small check amounts. You will not get a big, huge, comically large it's, check. It's super simple. Do the comically large check. Make the make the fill in the money section and a whiteboard. Dry and let, let people walk in and do selfies in front of one that they can fill out themselves. See, this is a good idea. This is the second time Mike has brought good ideas to the show. Like you're solving solve the, world's the problem. problem. Don't just don't just complain good about it. Good work. That. that is good work. Maybe we will see that at Washington State Lotto headquarters. And I know I'm going to get texts at nine eight nine seven three from people that work there. Saying stop giving people terrible ideas. We don't appreciate it. That's fine. But don't, you guys, what? vote for Harps. What? Oh. She needs another win. No, vote no. for Harps. Don't give me your weird ghost pity vote. <laughs> Whatever that was. Tracy Taylor, take a look at the drive. Brought to you by Emerald Queen Casino. So the good thing is, is we're starting or at least approaching the four o'clock hour without anything reported blocking. However, we are looking at. 